RT. But are they viable? News 5's Isani Caetano reports. Greetings, Belize. I, Patrick Rogers, hereby declare my candidacy for Collett constituency and commit to serve without fear or favor and will disclose my income, assets, and liabilities in accordance with the Prevention of Corruption Act. The political amalgam that is the Belize Progressive Party is a mashup of aspirants both independent and aligned, formally introduced itself today. Made up in part of former members of Vision Inspired by the People, Belize Unity Alliance, We the People, and the People's National Party, BPP is somewhat a super group of alternative candidates. With a little over a month to go, BPP's immediate goal is to successfully sell itself as a viable option for the undecided voter. No game shall be played, for this party represents a new Belize political consciousness in which governance is inclusive and not selective as it is currently practiced by the powers that be. Led by Patrick Rogers and Will Mejia, the unveiling of the third party is another addition to the existing political landscape ahead of the November 4th general elections. As of today, guys, we are 34 days. So is it, it is Belize at 34 days to the new dawn, to the revolution, to the change. And so, having run in five elections, having committed, and I want to say, we don't like to use the word proud, humbly, we have always published our campaign financing. We have always challenged both parties to do the same. And up to today, after 34 years, we have not seen a budget for any one of them. We have not seen a financial report for any one of them. We don't know where the money comes from. We don't know how the money is spent. Unlike previous individual endeavors, the newly formed party is anticipating a campaign budget of half a million dollars, a paltry sum compared to the big two. The idea is to raise the necessary funds through assistance from the business community. Yesterday we were looking at, a, at um, was it a half a million? Yes, we were looking at 500,000. Divided by 100 is 5,000 per, per businessman. Um, not that we're, we listen, we're open. You want to give me a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever you want to give us. But what I'm saying is to level the business playing field in this country, a businessman would gladly invest that and not expect nothing in return. And we're not talking about the big boys. We're talking about an ordinary businessman who just simply wants the level playing field to operate. They would. But if they want to give 1,000, 2,000, whatever it is, we can raise this money and we can make sure that our constituencies and our candidates have the best chance. And again, I say, it is expensive, but we can do this. Conceptually, Belize Progressive Party is about forming a labor movement, drawing from a number of candidates, including cane farmers and businessmen. We're not about forming a liberal party here, Belize. We are not about forming a liberal party that would have gladly accepted half a million dollars from the oligarchy. We're about forming a labor movement. So our ideology, our philosophy is based on labor. We are in effect the labor party of Belize. If I could have chosen the name, that would have been the name that I would have chosen. However, it is not about Patrick. It's about our collective wisdom that we trust. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano. While the newly formed Belize Progressive Party officially introduced itself, as well as its 11 candidates earlier today, it is still short of 21 nominees for the organization to contest all 31 constituencies. So with an absence of candidates, party leader Patrick Rogers was asked if he has approached familiar names including activists Giovanni Brackett and Audrey Matura Shepard to join the slate. Here's